So you have a Mac and you have a really big PDF file that you want to shrink down. Maybe you want to send it in an email or something. I'm going to show you how to do it a few different ways. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back to the channel. And as you know, my channel is all about reviews of equipment, hubs, computers, everything. And I also do tutorials like this and learning stuff. So hopefully you guys can subscribe to my channel. It's gonna help me grow. This is gonna be more, if you have a PDF file that you just got sent and you have a Mac and you wanna go ahead and you wanna decrease the size of it at various levels because you need to email it and there's an email and maybe there's a size limit on the emails or maybe you just wanna store it away for your future reference but you don't want it to be so big to take up your disk space. It's very, you know, valuable on a Mac, you know that. So what we can do is there's a couple different ways and what I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna share my screen but I'm gonna really just show you the easy way to do it and it's kinda of just, done and then there's going to be a way where you can actually take different graphics out and shrink them individually depending on which ones you really want to you know have good resolution with maybe for later maybe it's a chart you have to read or something but the other ones you can just kind of get rid of or just not even or just shrink the size of them i'm going to show you all that it's not you know you can kind of stay for the first topic and then you know if you don't worry about the other one you can leave but then the first one's going to be the easy one so stay tuned for that and then i'll catch you on the other side and we'll wrap up the video all right, so there's a couple different methods. The first method is, I just wanna get this as small as possible. So here I have two files, they're copies of each other, and they're about 9.6 megabytes. The problem is, if you wanted to email this, this is a huge kind of file, or even to store it. So first, you know, I'm just gonna show you, because these are just copies, so we're gonna take a copy of the file, and we're just gonna double click it and open it in preview, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. You can see it over here. Now this has got, it's just a normal quick PDF I put together and it's got three kind of high res images in it. That's why it's so big. It's really the images that take up all the space, not the text. So that's one thing you gotta consider. I'm gonna show you in a second after this how you can kind of keep the quality of the images and get the size down. But the first example is just to get the size down completely. So all I wanna do here is once I have preview open, you can see it over here, I'm gonna to go to file and then we're gonna go down. You can say export as PDF, but don't do that. You can go to export instead. So go to export only right there, you can see it. And it's gonna open up this screen here. What you wanna do is you wanna, you can name it whatever you wanna name it. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it the same name. But I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna say under quartz filter right there. Make sure the format's PDF. Under quartz filter, so obviously you have choices there, so make sure PDF. But under quartz filter, what you wanna do is you wanna go down to reduce file size right there, reduce file size. Click on it and then click save, all right? And then we're gonna go ahead and close this out. Now let's go ahead and see how big this one is. Let me go ahead and drag it into this folder. Give me one second. All right, so I dragged it into here and you can see right now that I got it from 9.6 megabytes all the way to 115 kilobytes, all right? Now what's the problem with that? Well, it's super small. Let's go ahead and open this up. You can see that you can, you know, obviously it looks very similar. These images are pretty small. Um, so it's not gonna show you that much here. But if you go to view, and then you know, obviously you can zoom in. So if you start zooming in on these images though, and let me just do it one more time, view, and then I'm gonna zoom in, you're gonna notice that they're very, very kind of low resolution. So if you had text in here that someone had a print or something, when you go down to this low, it's not gonna be that clear. So I'm gonna shut that. See, if I open the bigger one, the one I had, the original one, and I go file, and then I go to zoom in, and then I go file, and then I go zoom in, you can notice that that image is a lot clearer. Let me just do it one more time. Um, view, and then zoom in. See how clear that image is staying right there? It's perfectly clear. The other one's all foggy, so if you can, you know, if you had a diagram or something, that wouldn't work well. It's, it's very small over here in size, but it just doesn't work that well overall. So I'm gonna show you how to kind of fix that. All right, so the second method is, is if you wanna, you know, that was too small, and you can see the images aren't really that crisp. So there's another way to do this. It's not the best way, but I just wanna show people, it's, it's fairly quick. So if you have a PDF over here, I'm gonna take the full scale one, 9.6 megabytes. I'm gonna open, double click on it, and it's gonna open up here in preview. You can actually go ahead and select all, everything in here, just select it like this. Go ahead and copy, you know, select everything. Hit Command C for copy, so that's gonna copy everything to the clipboard. Then go ahead and open up Pages. See it over here? And open up a blank document, and then go Command V, which is gonna paste everything. Now you're gonna see it's kind of thinking about it. It takes a little while. Now look at it, it actually pasted it in. Now it didn't paste it exact, so you may have to move some things around, 
But this is the way to get a PDF into basically, you can get it into your, uh, in, in some cases, into pages like I just did. Now, inside here you notice the images are still high quality, but they're, you know, obviously they may not be in the exact right spot. But you can click on the image just like this, and you can go ahead and drag this and rearrange things as you need to. And that's one way. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this over here. So now we're on pages, right? So there's a couple things you can do in here. So let's just say you move this around to the way you want it, and you're ready to save this. Well, what you can do is you can go over to pages over here and you can go file and you can go right here export or actually let me tell you one thing you can go right here to export the pdf and then the quality here once you export the pdf is going to be best better or good and so depending on what you choose there it's going to give you three different sizes instead of just one and if you do best the images are going to stay really crisp it's going to be a big file if you go to better it's going to shrink it considerably and the images will still be okay if you go to good they're going to get worse the images but it'll still be way smaller so that gives you three different options and then finally there's one other thing you can do so like now that we have it in pages if you really want to, we want to, let's say we want, let's say these two images here are fine to be kind of really bad quality, but let's just say that this top image here, let's just assume that this is like a graph or something where you have to be able to read it and it's not readable. So when you shrink it, I'm sorry, right now it is, but when you shrink it. So what you can do is in, inside of pages, you can go ahead and click on the image like this, see it? And over here in the sidebar, click on image and see this over here where it says file info. Believe it or not, you can go ahead and just drag right there where it says page, like where the name of the page, the file is, move it way over here and just drop it on your desktop, all right? Believe it or not, you just copy that image from here over to your desktop. Now you can double click on the image like this and you can see the, you know, the quality of it, look how good a quality. But now what you can do is you go to file and then you go down to, I believe it's export. Let me see right there, export. Now, once you're in here, I can export this file as a JPEG, so I'll keep it as a JPEG, but now I can really dial in how big this image should be. You can see it's saying 1.1 megabytes. I'm moving it 677 kilo. So basically, you can move this all the way down to like 531 kilobytes, and you can go ahead and save it, all right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and exit that. So now this image is a lot smaller. So if I wanted to, you know, theoretically, I could just drag this right back in, right? I could drop it in. And I could remove over here, which is the second one. I'm going to delete that, but that's the original. So now I got this smaller file in here by dragging it out, saving it as a different size, and moving it back in. And then basically, once you're all done again, you can go ahead and just go File, and then you can go down to Save As, or you know, however you want to do it. Um, but you know, there's going to be Save, and you can save it as either a PDF or even a Word doc or even a Pages document. So it just depends on how you want to do this. I just wanted to show people this is kind of a good way to fool around with PDFs if you want to do kind of dial in individual sizes of them. But the first method is the easiest; it keeps everything small. The second method will give you you know three different choices, and then the final method you can actually take out individual images, shrink them, move them back, and then save it as a PDF again, or however you want to do it. But if you save it as a PDF with the smaller images obviously then it's going to be a smaller size file but they'll still be readable so anyways i know it's kind of a lot of stuff to throw at you but i just wanted to show you a couple different ways of doing this and i hope it helps people thank you all right so what do you think about that again if you want to shrink a size of something a pdf file it's very easy with the mac you can see how easy that is but if you really want to go ahead and either not shrink the images too much uh, where you can't even see them or the resolution's terrible. There's ways to do that kind of as a custom way. And I showed you kind of how to, you know, take the images away and then bring them back. So you can do that or you can remove the images if you don't need them in the PDF. Very easy to do. You can use, you know, either just what's built into the Mac, all the different software. You don't need Adobe or anything like that out there. So if you're thinking about PDFs and you want to shrink them for various things, just kind of getting all your stuff in a row and making sure you have as much disk space as you can or sending emails, these are the ways you can do it. I know there's other ways, there's other software, there's other techniques, methods, everything, but these are two or three different ways you can do stuff, and I hope you learned something from it. So please subscribe if you did. It's gonna help me grow the channel. I got a you know, full-time job, and I do everything this at nighttime and stuff, so just let me know what you think. I, I think like I wanna try to grow this where I can start doing a little bit more you know, quality videos. I don't have to go so quick, and uh, that's gonna really help me when I get the subscribers up. So we'll talk to everybody, though. I hope, you know, again, wish everyone a good, it's a weekend for me, but it won't be when you're watching it. So, but I hope everyone, I guess, at 2022 and 2023, we'll talk to you soon. Peace.